Hey there, Adam Little from SexyConfidence.com where I help the 21st century woman create a love life that she absolutely loves. And in this video right now, I'm gonna be teaching you why it is that men cheat on women that they love. Keep watching. All right, so let's kick this thing off right now and I'm gonna say the obvious. Both men and women cheat. No, no I, I don't. don't. Yes, you do. Both genders cheat. Now this video is of course for women because this channel's for women, but I need to make that very clear. Now some notable studies out there say that women are more likely to cheat, whereas others say that men are more likely to cheat. The reality is, who really f***ing knows? Because most of these surveys are, they're surveying liars, right? Cheaters are liars anyway. So it's really tough to know who cheats more. The reality is both genders cheat. Now the most notable study that I've found is that men cheat actually 21% of the time, whereas women are anywhere between 10 to 15%. And that's according to the General Social Survey of the University of Chicago's independent organization. Now I sat down and I thought to myself, what are some of the core reasons behind this so that you women can understand and look for some of these signs? So I wanna jump into, I have four reasons here. I'm gonna jump into the first one, which is more of kind of like a fundamental and scientific reason why men cheat on women that they love. It all comes down to evolutionary biology. Men are very different from women, of course, when it comes to procreation, uh, because men, at the end of the day, we can physically have sex with as many women as we'd ever want without running out of our genetic resources. It's called sperm. Whereas women, if they have sex with a guy, for all of human civilization, women are always running the risk of getting pregnant. It's called a baby. So you see, from an evolutionary biology perspective, it makes sense that men might be seeking more partners than women because they have less to lose. They, they are, it's a less risky proposition. Now that does not mean that every man cheats. Every man does not cheat. I'm just trying to give you the, the biological reason of why a man might have those types of thoughts. Now not every man acts on those thoughts. And the real second reason as to why men cheat on women that they might love, that really overrules the first one. And that is because they make a choice to cheat. Cheating is always a choice. And it's really based on a person's lack of character. They're willing to go ahead and break that trust and be with someone else. So the question is, why might they make that choice? For starters, they don't value a committed relationship. And that could be for a lot of different reasons. Maybe it's based on their upbringing. Maybe they're in a single parent home where someone was cheating or they didn't have a great male role model. Or they just weren't raised with the, the idea of having respect for another person, another person that you're with. Another reason why someone might cheat is because their sexual needs are just not being met. Maybe you're not sexually compatible. Maybe the sex has just completely died off. But at the end of the day, humans, both men and women, are incredibly sexual creatures. And if that's, that, that need isn't being met at home, then perhaps they might go somewhere else. And finally, one of the biggest reasons why people cheat is lack of emotional intimacy in the relationship. Yes, men have emotions and we have emotional needs. And what this study actually found is that a lot of men reported that they weren't emotionally satisfied by their current relationship or they instead wanted to gain additional emotional connection, emotional validation or validation as a person by being with another person person. At the end of the day, the real reason why some people cheat is because the relationship is over and no one wants to admit it. And if that does happen in a relationship and someone does cheat on you, move on from that relationship. Find something new. Find a relationship where someone does have the respect for you to not go off and seek uh, emotional intimacy somewhere else, to not seek a sexual intimacy somewhere else, where they'd be open enough to talk to you about some of the challenges in the relationship so that you can fix it together. And if he does cheat, then he's the wrong guy for you. A real man never cheats. So I built Sexy Confidence, so this is a bit of a community for us all to come together, and I'd love to hear from you. Do you have any experience being cheated on? Or maybe you've cheated on someone in the past. Love to hear from you in the comments, and please feel free to interact with one another, be able to help people through some of these challenging parts of being in a relationship. And if you enjoyed this video and you want more eBooks, webinars, secret videos just like this, go ahead and click right here, yep, right here, and this'll take you over to sexyconfidence.com, where I have a ton of free resources and paid resources that are gonna help you through the, your relationships with men and of course when you first start meeting men. So go ahead and click right here and that'll take you over to sexyconfidence.com. And also if you enjoyed this video please give it a like on YouTube that really helps me out a lot and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube for more videos just like this every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.